Hi everybody, uh, Assisus. It's um, Thursday, May 11th. It's about 6.30. It is gorgeous. I don't know. It's about 75 degrees finally. Um, but I just wanted to... We're at White Memorial um, in one of the trails here. This, you know, we, We're always here. We love it here. <clears throat> but I wanted to talk about shape-shifting. And you know that um, as far as Assisus is concerned, uh, let's talk about Squatch. Squatch is a biological animal, um, like a lot of our cryptids are. Some of them display uh, clearly supernatural abilities, like shape-shifting, which I just mentioned. So I started to think about it. an awful lot of cryptids um, display shape-shifting. Uh, we, we talked about it, the Black Dog of Meriden, the Wendigos, and the Skinwalkers. They all seem to sort of shape-shift, and, and some others as well. And then I started to think, all right, well, you know, if Cesus is, I mean, uh, if Bigfoot is a biological animal, it's not going to shapeshift. So I started to wonder, like, thinking about nature, just regular animals, uh, known animals through science. And I said, well, you know, it does occur in nature quite a bit. It occurs in insects all the time. Your classic caterpillar turns into a butterfly or a moth. And... Um, a lot of insects, a lot of beetles will go into a larval stage and then they change. So nature does do that. Then I was wondering like, well, what about other? What about amphibians and reptiles and mammals um, and uh, some of the fishes? And then I thought, well, you know, it's interesting. Fish do. Flounders do. When flounders are born, flounders are flatfish. When a flounder is born, it swims upright with eyes on both sides of its head. And as it matures, the eye moves around the top of the fish. And that's why it kind of has that like sideways thing. It doesn't look symmetrical. That eye has to move around to the top of, of the fish's head. Um, and, well, that's, you know, that's just prolonged shape-shifting. And uh, then I started to think about, like, do birds shape-shift? And I'm like, I can't really, you know, answer to that. But of course, amphibians and reptiles do. Frogs and toads are born as tadpoles, and they have these long tails, um, kind of eel-like, you know, uh, so sort of an egg shape, and then this elongated tail, which then slowly the tail gets absorbed into the body. All the fats and nutrients get absorbed, and then legs form. And then it leaves, toads leave the, the aquatic environment and go into the terrestrial environment. So, um... Birds, I, I had a hard time. I couldn't really, I mean, other than they're born in an egg and um, mammals. I just, I couldn't wrap my mind around mammals doing it. They don't seem to display that other than when we're born. Uh, humans are born as a zygote and we kind of look like this grub, sort of worm swimming around in amniotic fluid. And uh, that's a transformation. But it just occurred to me to, to say to you, to share with you the thoughts on CSIS are that shape-shifting does occur in nature. It, occur, it occurs abundantly and throughout a lot of animals. It just, uh, correct me if you're wrong, people send me if I'm wrong, it doesn't seem to be displayed widely in mammals and the birds. Um, but it certainly does in insects, amphibians, reptiles, and the bony fish. And I'm sure a lot of other other creatures will follow up on this and, and maybe we'll put some information up. But we are just loving it today. So there you go, shape-shifting in nature. Thought we'd just share some thoughts with you. It does occur in nature, so it can occur in cryptids. And this place here, you got a good chance of seeing a cryptid hand. I wish you were here today to smell it. All the, the, all the, the, all the flowers are in the air and the pine and it's just awesome this place every time I come here we come here and investigate always impressed with how massive the trees are and just how extensive these trail systems are if you want to get lost go right up to the street to Camp Columbia right about sunset and, and don't pay attention to your trails and they all sort of intersect you'll get lost might have happened to us I don't know what do you think camera person did it maybe happen to us <laughs> It's just right up the street. If you want to get lost, that's probably the best place in Connecticut. All right, people, I got to get my dog, the worst squatch in the world. Come on.
Let's scare away some cryptids so we don't have an encounter. Come on. 